Hey there, my name is Caitlin McDonald and I am the co-owner of the Social Speak Network. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking through some of the key elements to make sure to include in your FAQ or commonly asked questions sections of your website. Now I'm gonna be sharing my screen as well um, and walking you through one of our recent blog posts where this video will actually live um, to show you how some of these elements can actually work. Now here we're talking specifically about FAQs for health and wellness practices. So I'm gonna be talking about patients and physicians um, and giving some examples for knee surgery, for example. Um, However, we're also gonna be taking a look at some of the FAQ All-Stars um, and seeing what they are doing as well. So the reason why we really want to make sure that we have a really well put together FAQ section on your website is because this can help convert prospects into patients. The goal of an FAQ is to help educate and build that brand trust as well as brand recognition. Um, and it really helps put you front and center and above your competition. As recently as just a couple of years ago, uh, we were even telling clients, you know what, you don't really need an FAQ section because you can just utilize blog posts and articles and linking to other resources um, as a way to answer questions that your prospects might have. Our tune has completely shifted. Google now emphasizes the featured snippets, which showcase the actual answers of commonly asked questions. So if you can have your content show up in that featured snippet, it puts you light years ahead of your competition. And our goal is to really help you stand out and stand apart so that you can grow your bottom line by getting new patients in the door. So first things first, let's jump over. I'll share my screen and we can take a look at what a featured snippet is, as well as some of those key elements to include in your FAQ section. So here, one moment. All right, so first things first. This is an example of a featured snippet. So this is something that Google actually automatically pulls from your website based on what the search is here. And so it takes a look at what people typically are asking and then puts in, and for medical practices, often you'll see WebMD and Mayo Clinic here, um, but it puts in the answers to those questions. And so you have a chance of being featured here for your wellness practice if you have an FAQ section that is structured properly. Now, one of the reasons why Google has this is I feel, um, I'm not positive that if this is actually correct, but I feel it's because of the increase in voice search from our phones. So when you know, Google first came out um, and we all started using Google uh, 15 years ago or however long ago, 10 years ago, um, you know, it Ask Jeeves was one of the main competitors and we would type in long questions. Now, searches are often you know, just quick little searches. However, with the rise of mobile searches, people are going back to those longer questions. You know, where is a medical center near me? How do I know if I have a torn meniscus? Um, and so things like this, we need to account for. And a great way to account for that is through the FAQ, okay? Um, so you'll be, you know, you'll have a chance of being featured here. It will link to your website um, or, you know, down, um, down below, if you are answering the questions, again, you are more likely to come up. So with your FAQ, there are certain things that you should be including. Um, so we talked about the featured snippet. So the first thing is that you should group questions all together at the top of 
the page. So here is just a screenshot from a great um, practice and they have grouped all of the questions together and they've done a wonderful job then linking these questions to other places on the site. Now you could also set it up like YouTube does and plenty of other places do um, where it has um, kind of a drop down where you can click to read more. I personally like showing all of the questions all at once. However, then grouping them, which is the next one, in sections so that it's easy to navigate. So if you have a problem, I'm just showing you two because they do a great job. They're one of those FAQ all-stars. Um, but here you see, um, you know, fix a problem, manage your account, um, create and grow your channel. And then within these, they have the topics below them. Um, so for you, for a healthcare center, um, let's say you're an orthopedic center, uh, having an FAQ section for your initial consultation. So what to expect there, what to bring, patient documents, things like that. Preparing for your procedure, your surgery. Um, what to expect at your appointment. Recovery post procedure and things like this can really help boost the nav navigability and um, the user friendliness of your FAQ section. And we recommend um, putting your FAQ really on uh, each of the specialty pages that you have, as well as a broad FAQ about your clinic in general. Um, and so by having specific, you know, specialty-oriented questions and answers on that services page, it helps you really boost um, the search engine optimization and voice search um, possibilities on that one page. And then you also want to have um, the questions that are related to your broader practice. Um, in there, you could also have, you know, surgery or excuse me, specialty related questions and link back to the correct answer on your actual um, specialty pages. And this can help again, get those, um, the, the links between pages on your website um, and make sure that people are finding the information that they need. Um, so the next piece, and I brought this up, but, um, oh, actually, this is a good one. Uh, so one thing that we saw with this search for torn meniscus symptoms is that Google is telling you sort of similar questions that people are asking. So if you're having trouble coming up with questions, just do a Google search. So here, torn meniscus symptoms, and then it shows the actual specific questions that people are asking for. And you can see this here. Let's see what I pulled up for knee surgery. Um, what's the most common knee surgery? How long does it take to recover? Do you stay in the hospital? Is it painful? Um, and so all of these could be great questions for you to include in your FAQ section or somewhere in your marketing collateral. Um, the goal here is, you know, to focus on the actual phrases that people are using and questions people are asking. You want to be featured here as one of the uh, sources that can help answer these questions. So if you look, um, all three of these are different websites uh, that are sharing information and answering the questions. And um, so if you are able to have your brand here and your medical center here, um, it can really help boost your credibility as well as that brand recognition. So that's just a great way to find additional questions. Uh, then you also want to link questions to the respective answers lower on the page. So here's just an example of how that works. So you have the question up top and then um, you use the HTML links to get them lower. I do have a video uh, how to add HTML link uh, to specific places on your page um, that you can it's down in the description and also link to on this blog post. Uh, that you can definitely take a look at. 
Now, the next item to make your FAQ section um, really stand out and stand apart is to create concise and clear answers to your questions. So it should, you know, drive people to specific points on your website. It should be as clear and concise as possible. And it's fine if you leave some things out. Your goal is to ultimately get this prospect to call you up and schedule that initial consultation with one of your physicians. Um, so it, you know, you can purposefully choose not to answer certain questions or to provide brief descriptions that are leaving more, you know, to be found out. Um, you want to answer the question, but you want to be brief. Then the next thing is to include a video with each of the answers, um, or as many of the answers as possible. So this is just an example of um, one instance where um, the website, I think this was a, a Christian hospital, um, put in a video explaining what minimally invasive knee replacement surgery was. Um, and so if you can have your physicians just film quick videos as well, uh, this can be incredibly powerful. We've had everything from um, neurosurgeons do this to chiropractors. Um, and if you have one of the newer iPhones, uh, maybe a little microphone. I have mine, I'm actually not using it right now. Um, but you can have, you know, just your microphone and your iPhone and create just a quick little video. Um, you can even do a interview style and then just cut the video where you want to. Um, though on mobile, the vertical video works really well. For most FAQ sections, I would recommend doing it horizontal. Uh, these videos, it's fine if they're just 15 or 30 seconds long, and they work a variety of different ways. First and foremost, it gives you the opportunity to show up and appear in the Google search results specifically with that video. Number two, it adds that multimedia experience. Some people are gonna like to read, some are gonna like to skim, and other people are going to want to watch the videos. Additionally, it builds trust with your prospects because they get to know the experts and physicians within your practice. So they get to actually see who they might be meeting with, and this helps settle and calm a lot of nerves. Um, a lot of our, pay, excuse me, our, our clients, um, you know, if they're really tapping into that patient journey, they understand that there's an emotional element. Yeah, if you fall off of a, you know, a roof or, um, or drop something on your foot, you're gonna need an immediate uh, recommendation for where to go to. But if your knee's been hurting or your hip's been hurting, maybe you've had some back or shoulder pain, it's going to take you a little while to decide that now is the time to go in and see an expert, to see a specialist about your pain. And so you need to have them rest assured that you are the right clinic to go to. Um, so videos help you do that. Now, some of these are, um, you know, they look a little bit um, more in-depth, if you will, um, but honestly, just use your phone. Uh, it works really well. And then these videos, um, you know, you'll have them embedded on your website, you'll have them on YouTube, on your YouTube channel, and then you can also utilize them both in social media posts as well as on, um, email marketing campaign. So if you have a drip marketing campaign uh, that has to do with a specific topic, you can just feed them some of these videos. Uh, and as you go through the FAQ section, you're kind of thinking about that sales funnel and the prospect journey as you're going through it. And so each of these videos fulfills a different role within that prospect journey. So then uh, the next thing is to try as much as you can to enter in your brand name, the clinic name, or the specialist name within the answer to your question. 
And the reason why we want to do this, and I'll go back to, um, let's see. I'll go back just to these. Um, and so what you'll see here is with the featured snippet, these folks are not utilizing the brand name. Yes, their website appears down below, but how much more powerful would it be to say, you know, something about the physician within this description here? Um, and again, this is something that Google automatically grabs from your website. So if you are able to continually push your brand name out there, it raises you that much higher than your competition. You become the clinic that comes first to mind. Um, so we highly recommend adding your clinic name in the first, or physician's name, in the first um, sentence or two of your answer. Uh, and then lastly, as you're writing these answers, as I mentioned, you're being as clear and concise as possible, um, but you also want to make sure that you are linking to more content um, where the patient, the prospect, the reader can learn more. So you have that FAQ section, but you should still be writing that long blog post um, to boost more of the SEO on that page. Um, you should also, or on your website, and then you should also be having that call to action for somebody to actually click and schedule an appointment or um, click to contact you. So all of these are tips that you can um, put into your FAQ section. Again, for health and wellness um, practices, we really recommend having a service page or services pages for all of your specialties. And then on that page, having the specific commonly asked questions that are about that service or that specialty in particular. Then you can have a broader commonly asked questions page, FAQ page, that's about the practice, about the physicians, specialties, and things like that. And then have the specific specialty questions, again, link back to either that one question on the um, specialty FAQ section or just to that specialty page so they can learn more. So I hope that this has been helpful. Again, my name is Caitlin McDonald. I'm with the Social Speak Network and we absolutely love helping uh, wellness centers, health centers um, grow their bottom line through attracting the right prospects for their specialties. If you've enjoyed this video or have seen successes with your FAQ, please leave a comment below and if you're interested in learning more about digital marketing for your practice, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are always putting out new content and we'd love to share it with you the moment that it comes out. So thanks so much and I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'd love to see the links to your FAQ sections once you have them up and running.